Okay, people, so these are the solutions for the uh, paper 2H, the potential paper 2H I posted last week. So question one, so the upper and lower bound for P and Q, uh, so for P is 250 and 150, for Q is 43.65 and 43.55. So PQ over P plus Q lower bound is equal to PQ lower bound over P plus Q upper bound, and then you break them individually, and then you plug it in and you get the value 22.2. Uh, question two is very simple. You just substitute it in. Make sure you substitute the values in and just plug it straight into the calculator. So I've written it like to seven decimal places there. Question three. So let X be the age of knees. So brother is 7X. John would be 7X plus 7. So John minus knees equals 7X plus 7 minus X, which is 6X plus 7. So for part one, you factorize using quadratics for part one and part two you factorize 2x out first and then difference of two squares to get 2x x plus 5 x minus 5. Question five so you just simply sketch the sine graph okay so it, one cycle is 0 to 360 and it goes up to 1 and to minus 1 in the maximum and minimum points. So question six value after four years is 25,000 times 0 0.7 to the power of four, which is no, uh, 6,002 pounds and 50. So John is not correct. Question seven. So you've got ABC. So the gradient of AB, so the gradient of BC is minus two plus three over two minus four, which is minus half. So it becomes y, y equals minus half x plus c. And then you sub in point A because you, they want the line parallel to be c through A. And you get c equals to 11 over 2. So the final answer is y equals minus half x plus 11 over 2. Question 6 is a circle theorem question. So the angle OBA equals 31 because it's an isosceles triangle. And then AOB plus 31 plus 31 is 180 because angle is in a triangle. And then AOB is 118. So ACB is 59 because angle at the center is double. And BCD plus 59 equals 180 because angle is on a line. And then BCD equals 180 minus 59, which is 121. Question 9. So this is a big question. So first of all, you've got to work out PR using the cosine rule. And then you, once you've got PR, you use that value and the 9 given in the diagram to work, work out RS using Pythagoras theorem. And you work out the area of triangle PQR using half AB sine C. And you work out the area of triangle PRS using base times height over 2. And you add the two areas to get PQRS. So it's quite a simple question uh, if you break it down. Okay, so I'll post it there if you want to read it. So let's go to question 10. So question 10 is just simply expanding algebra for part 1 and uh, make sure you spot the difference of two squares for the second two brackets. If it is not, I mean you have to manually expand every single bracket. So what I normally do, I open the second and third bracket first and then do the first one last, but you could do it in any order, it doesn't matter. The question 2, you've got to be careful. The second set of brackets has a minus sign in front of them. So I, what I did is I expanded it fully and then opened the minus sign at the very end because otherwise things could get a little tricky. And then it works out to be 17 plus 7 root 5. So question 11 is a physics-based question. Pressure equals force over area. So pressure times area equals force. So force equals 25 times 0 0.25, which is 6.25 newtons. Question 12 is a proportionality question. So uh, P is propor proportional to Q squared. So you write P equals K Q squared and you work out the value of K, which is 3. And then once you got that, you put P equals to 75 to get square root Q equals to square root of 25, which is plus or minus five guys okay a lot of people forget to put the plus or minus if you forget the minus you will lose a mark question 13 so 400 meter squared is same as so this is the way i do it so i write it as 400 times meter times meter which is same as 400 times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters which is 4 million centimeters squared okay question 14 so this is about sketching graphs so first of all, you work out the y-intercept, which is 0, 0,5, and then the x-intercept by factorizing, which is minus 5 
0, 1, 0, and then you draw the graph. And then to get the y equals 2, f of x minus 2 minus 3, you just translate the points or transform the points. And then you draw that graph as well in the same diagram. Okay, so just go through it and just check. Question 15, you just simplify and cancel. Question 16 is a functions question. And then question 17 is a Venn diagram question. Okay, I hope you found it useful. I will post to paper 3 as well. And if you need to access more papers, please buy the book via the link below.